This is ESPN Esports. I'm Marto Cal. Very happy to be joined by Prestini and our cities. A very special moment this weekend in Atlanta at Call of Duty League. Brothers, teammates for a very long time. The love is very palpable. Today, for at least an hour or so, they were opponents. And I want to unpack that a little bit because it was a very special moment as a viewer to watch that, knowing the history and, and what was, uh, you know, the sentiment going into it. But now when you look back on it, our cities, let's start with you. It was very emotional to try and put that into words immediately afterwards. But now that you've had some time to think about it, just give us your thoughts on the whole experience. Um, super proud of the kid. He's better than everyone thought. I knew he was good. He just, he just needs to be around the right people, and uh, I think he's kind of finding it. I think uh, towards the end of this event, he's he found it very, uh, he looked very comfortable. That's all That's all I know. Sunday, he looked very comfortable, and uh, super happy for him. I'm super happy for him. I I'm made this squad with Seth, Matt, and them, and uh, I knew there was no shot Preston was going to get on just because we, we had a full team, and uh, he kind of got left uh, left with the underdogs, kind of. and. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think he deserves that, but uh, everyone else did, so uh, I'm super proud for him. This is not the time to unpack the, the final. What I do want to say is one storyline is this is Prestini's redemption in a way. That semifinal, whether your brother was involved in it or not, was really a statement from you, right? So when you look at this past weekend, what will you think about? Um, you know, coming in, um, I don't think anyone expected us to come close to even a lot of people didn't even expect us to make it out of pools um, so the fact that we did that and then ended up going on to play Alec and uh, taking that series it, it, it proved a lot of people wrong um, I feel like we still had more left in the tank um, we just came out slow and uh, it kind of showed in the finals but I feel like we can we can definitely be phased we just we just got to come out with the fire next time and you know we just kind of came out slow and it, it screwed us can you tell me the moment you guys sat down and you saw each other on the opposite teams on stage, knowing it was going to happen before game number one? Can you tell me what was going on in your mind? Um, like I said earlier this weekend, uh, it's just unreal. I, I've never played without him, and uh, I've never played against him. I never thought about playing against him, and uh, it was just crazy. Uh, again, I'm super happy for him. That's all. <laughs> I, so we lost. That's all I'm saying. How about for you? Um, I mean, I had so much to prove. Not just by playing him, but the entire week and whoever I played. Um, everybody's always looked at me as kind of just the guy that sits there and collects a check. Um, like I was irrelevant to the win in Black Ops 4 champs. Um, so I felt like it was time for me to prove that I'm not just, I don't, I don't need anyone. I don't need anyone to win. I can be, you give me superstar, you give me the team I have now, you give me amateurs, I'll, I'm going to make it work. And uh, that's just determination and like the passion I have for winning. Yeah, especially when it comes to college, so um, I don't know. I feel like I don't know. That's I think it. many people out there believe that now, based off of that performance. Let me ask this as well: to be a fly on the wall backstage when you guys talked after the matchup, can you share uh, a little bit on what was said? Um, I no, not really. It was a lot of. It wasn't screaming, but it was a uh, very, uh, very mad arguments. It's a. Uh, we knew we could play better all weekend. We all we all got pissed off. We all knew it, it just felt uncomfortable for all of us, and uh, we just could, we didn't change it. We couldn't change it. And it just felt like all of us. It's hard to explain just because we're all professional players. We all know, knew we all know what we can do, and uh, we didn't show it this weekend. Uh, it's just uh, especially with like the how our team is on paper. We should be winning a lot more series, more comfortably, especially against Ultra Rocker. It was a it was a good series, but like. Florida, like again, our names are uh, on paper should be beating that team no matter what, but right. they came on reverse up this. So you feel certainly there's a lot of work to be done uh, moving forward? Uh, even if we win, there should be work done, okay. and uh, I think it showed this weekend we didn't, we didn't get much work improved. So, so Prestini, between the brothers after the matchup, any words said? Any uh, you, you, you immediately went to our cities, hugged them on stage as not, soon as that matchup was over. Not right away. I, I, heard, I heard what he said. Oh, before, what did you what did you say when you stood up? Um, basically, to sum it all up, I just I told him before if I beat him, I'm gonna talk crap. But afterwards, it's no hard feelings. It's just I said what I wanted to say this whole time. If I beat him, and it was to sum it all up, it was just me telling him, just don't drop me. Just you need me. 
but obviously he doesn't need me. He's he's doing fine by himself. Um, I just it's just something like I wanted to say to him. Like I just wanted to prove him wrong and everybody else wrong so much that I said something I don't mean, and you know it's just my passion for the game and winning and uh, beating Alec is. It's a good feeling. So I, I, I kind of let go, but afterwards I went up there and I apologized and I said GGs and that I love them. So it sounds like, like just judging by the look on your face, you weren't too happy with what was said, but after that? Um, I know it's not hard, no hard feelings. It's uh, on main stage. We're competitors. We're not brothers at that point. Uh, I don't I don't mind what he said. I'm, I was more mad that the way we played and uh, how, we, how we handled it, especially all weekend. We, just frustration showing all weekend and how, uh, how we were. So I... I understand where Preston's coming from. I didn't take any hard feelings, but next time we're on main stage against each other, it's coming back. It's coming by the, back to bite him in the ass. Let me end on this then. After this weekend, how much are both of you looking forward to facing each other again in competition? Um, I don't look forward to facing anyone. If they if they just if they happen to be in my way, they're in my way and at events. Okay. So uh, I think it's the same for him. We're both competitors, and uh, we don't look forward to playing each other. It just it just it happens to happen. Feel the same. Uh, yeah, I give the same amount of effort no matter who I'm playing. Um, you know, after the match is over, I'll think about it and I just beat them. Like, yeah, I'll say something. But during the match, I'm just I'm playing the game. To, I'm playing to win. You know, I don't care who's on the other side of the stage. So um, it's never in my mind that I'm sitting there playing against Alec. He kills me a few times. I don't even think about it. You know, that's just how it is. Like, I'm just there to play and win. Well, I want to thank you both for doing this. I know it took a lot uh, to stand here and answer these questions. So, Prestini RCDs, thank you very much.